Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Let's get ourselves healed up and... ...loaded up. Uh, let's get rid of you for now. Right. Right. Let's go get this bridge up. I did take the handle back, didn't I? Yes, I did. Cool. That's good. Trying to evacuate, lady. Thank you. Do you have anything else for me? No. This device is this device controls the bridge's oil pressure. Okay, I don't need to do anything with this yet. That's fine. I think I've, that's with Chris. I have to do that with. those for a while.
Okay. Put you there. Until detonation. <coughs> I will not allow you fools to escape. This is what you get for trying to oppose me. Now feel my revenge! <laughs> uh oh. It's a T-Rant. Loadout, I'm not sure. Ouch. That took a while to explode. Can I get past you? No. All right. If I remember rightly, I need to save the BOW gas for the plane. Get back. Quickly, Claire, quickly!
Hey fish. Bye fish. Yay! We can escape now. Time to say goodbye to this death trap. happily ever after. Claire, I'm sorry. I know I caused a lot of trouble for you. No, it's okay. It was hard for both of us. Well, I really hope you find your brother. I... I know what it's like to be alone. Oh, Steve. <clears throat> so, where should we go now? I can take you anywhere you want to go, Claire. <laughs> I hear Hawaii is nice this time of year. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> What real terror is all about! <laughs> Alfred, you might want to work on your voice switching. I'm good to save just in case. And let's grab one of those. I'd rather not go through all that again, so. At all confident that this is going to go my way.
Hello. Nice ass. Oh, did I do that to your leg? I'm not sorry. In your own time. Oh, I heard it. Yeah, I'm trying to, Claire. Oh. Oh. You know what? I am not a fan. So, wait for me to shut the door? No? Okay. giant cockroach that had to be stepped on. What's happening? I don't know. The plane just changed direction on its own. It's flying in autopilot mode. I can't switch over to manual control. My apologies. But I cannot let you escape now. Oh. <laughs> Alfred! Cross-dressing freak! Hush. I'm not sure I'd be comfortable sleeping on a plane that's running on autopilot. Oh, the cringe is real. Steve, don't be a creep. Dave. Nah, that's that's just creepy. Point one seven degrees. That 
that's the Antarctic. We're over the Antarctic. Not what? quite Hawaii. Hey, those are the seaplanes that left the island right before us. Then that must mean this place belongs to Umbrella. We've, we've arrived! <laughs> Haven't quite mastered parking yet. Save first half, end data. Yes! Not going through all of that again, I thank you very much. Well, I think the plane's out of action. Oh. Hey, wake up, Steve. Oh, come on, Steve. Oh, uh, <coughs> plane's trashed. Well, let's split up and find another way off this oversized freezer. Right. Okay, let's do it. Alright, where's he gone? Right. Now down that way, if I remember rightly, I can't go through here yet. Emergency evacuation, VTOL storage, restricted area. Fair enough. Don't want to waste my grenades. Excuse me. Oh god, I remember this bit. Hush up you. Ooh, more handgun bullets. Yes, please. Metal shop machine with a diamond cutting edge. I can use this to process metal materials easily. Nice. Gotta restore the power first though. Ooh, a blue herb. Haven't seen one of you yet. All right, I think that's all I can get in here for now. Hush up, you.
check all the rooms, collect all the things. to that yet, fair enough. those were there. Oh, I think I saw more bullets. God, how many of these am I missing? Uh, probably, well, would be easier if the lights were turned on, admittedly. Anything on here? Worker's diary. It's not all dark and gloomy. Okay, cool. October 30th. When I joined Umbrella Inc, I thought that I would be able to live carefree for the rest of my life, being employed by this huge corporation. Why would you think that? You still have to work. It's a job. It's a joke that I ended up being a driver at a place like this. I asked for a position change, but they completely ignored me. It feels more like a prison. Work is extremely demanding, and there's nothing fun about it. I'd rather be dead. Well... Be careful what you wish for. November 3rd. My hard-earned hard vacation was cancelled suddenly. I heard they failed to secure enough manpower due to a mistake made by the facility head, Alfred. That fool doesn't deserve forgiveness. He doesn't even treat us like human beings. November 5th. I heard an interesting story from a guy who's been working here for over eight years. He must be awfully patient. He says that there is a man who has been confined for over ten years locked up in a cell located deep below people. Uh, deep below here. People call him Nosferatu and are definitely afraid of him. What an absurd story. November 10th. At midnight I woke up to an ominous growling under that under <sighs> At midnight I woke up to an ominous growling sound that seemed to be coming from deep underground. I'm so pathetic to have been frightened by such a foolish story. Then again, I suppose anyone would have a hard time maintaining their sanity if they were confined to a place like this. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, take the map. It's quite a mess. A bed. There must have been the workers' lodgings. Alright, nothing else in here. <coughs> Ooh. Excuse me. All right, should be a safe point in here. And I think I've saved like three times this episode, but yeah, it's worth it. See what this noise is all about. That 
it's a loud rat. Butler's letter. Sir Alfred, please forgive me as I must tell you my abrupt depart I must tell you of my abrupt departure by leaving this letter. I first served your father, Lord Alexander, and have for so long shared in the joys and sorrows of the Ashford family. Lord Alexander disappeared unexpectedly 15 years ago, then an accident during an experiment took the life of our dear Alexia. You were forced to become the master of the family at a very young age and nearly lost your sanity from the sorrow of having lost all of your family members at once. There was nothing I could do and I felt powerless. I first thought that I should kill myself to apologise. I then realised that it would be an insult to our dear Lord Alexander and Alexia in the other world. Scott Harmon, Butler, Ashford family. There's a switch. Push it. Nope. Nothing going on. Right. Let's grab these. indentation of the shape of a halberd. It's locked. No key can be found. It's probably got something to do with that thing on the wall. Alexander's memo. My father, Edward, discovered the mother virus in cooperation with Lord Spencer, who was also a nobleman. They studied it for the purpose of military use. Eventually their study took shape. They named a variation of the mother virus the T-virus. The camouf to camouflage their research, they established Umbrella, Umbrella Chemical Inc. I majored in biogenetics and have been involved with a top secret project supporting my father's research. However, my research went through a difficult phase and my father died in the middle of the project. We are now at a major disadvantage against other researchers as there is great competition in the field of T-virus research. I have disgraced the honourable name of the Ashford family that our great ancestor Veronica established. If nothing is done, Umbrella will be taken over by Spencer. I must expedite the project to its fullest without being detected by Spencer. After much thought, I decided to establish a large-scale advanced research facility. It will be located in the transport terminal that I created by using the abandoned mine in the Antarctic. Within the facility, I'll have a room built. It will be similar to the design of my mansion, the legacy of the late Trevor. I will, I will be able to cherish my sweet memories there. For security purposes, this confidential project will be given a code name. It is the name of the beautiful ancestor of the Ashford family, Veronica, whom I wish to revive so badly. I am confident that the result of my research will be as glorious as her name and that honour will be restored to the Ashford family once again. Alright. Right, let's dump some of these items off. Uh, you there, you there, and I'll have the handgun back, I think. No, that's not what I wanted to do. do what I wanted to do. Yeah, put you there. Equip you. Reload. And I'll have that ink ribbon back actually. And then we can end the episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later, this has been Resident Evil Code Veronica X, and I will catch you next time. Take care now.